I'm Julie Rose Bauer and my piece is called Joe Mink, 304 Holloway Road. Uh, I'm making 10 installations, exploring 10 ways that Joe Meek has been misunderstood. He was one of the first independent record producers, not just in Britain, but anywhere in the world. He was a cable jammer, like <laughs> his stuff wasn't made all fancy. It, it did the job and it was dangerous. <laughs> and there was live wires all over the studio floor and, you know, knee deep in quarter inch magnetic tape. It was chaos, but it was a creative chaos. This is a complex and controversial story that deserves to be told. He's a music industry legend, but deeply flawed. And it's interesting to find out what's behind pop music hits. It's, it's not what you think. For people who've never heard of him or just heard Telstar perhaps, this is going to be um, an incredible entry point to his life and work. And I think it gives a really incredible story of what it was like to be a gay man in the 60s in London. Pop music really deserves to be treated through that heritage lens. New generations keep on hearing old music and it resonates with them. And there's a really good reason for that.